The Keep It Clear campaign is part of a bigger vision for the company under Love Every Drop. As a company, we have 15,000 blockages a year caused by things that are put down sinks and toilets and into the sewer network. Most of these are avoidable. We actually went on for what we used a street team to go into restaurants and takeaways, talk to them about very briefly what was in the packs, some of the best practice in there, and very much seen as helpful so that they could go on and, and talk to their staff and have it in the restaurant, have it in the takeaway in the kitchens, um, just to keep referring to it. Um, well, my role in the programme apart from actually delivering the information packs to the restaurant owners was to engage with them and to talk about best practices so that they can help their businesses run efficiently and effectively really. The restaurant owners and managers they really appreciated that we took the time to come in and see them and talk to them and spend time to raise awareness so yeah feedback was really positive. When you've got staff you can use the information on there as a training pack as well which is really really good mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, always uh, good to have a face behind it so you can ask questions and uh, like I say if it comes in the post you might not even get it or anything like that. People are more likely to act if it's from a, tr a source that they trust, a person that they trust. So we were going into community groups, we were going in with messaging, we were going in with helpful interventions that they could use, take home and use at home. Yeah, I'm proud of quite a lot of the things we've done um, in, in the programme, but particularly the relationships that we have sort of strengthened in the local community and the way we've managed to motivate people to cascade the information and indeed change their behaviour. Well, Anglian Water um, has provided support by coming into the preschool. Um, they talked to myself, um, gave us a lot of resources that were in different languages, some things to put in the sinks, um, which we've then cascaded out to parents. We have seen a difference since we had support from Anglian Water. Um, the preschool itself um, now uses the drain um, sink strainers so that we're not putting so much stuff down the sinks. And I think most of us have changed the way we do things at home as well. Um, we're all using the sink strainers that we got. Um, I think people are more aware of what they can and can't put down drains and that's the staff and the parents at the preschool. We've had uh, excellent support and um, it's actually creating an awareness and educational purposes. Uh, it's actually helped us uh, and we've been passing the message on to the community as well, so it's actually sort of been extremely helpful. And the sports actually helped us actually sort of uh, be a bit more aware of the consequences. Um, they're putting fat down the drains, and other certain things, and the sort of things they can actually cause uh, in our sewage systems, uh, and consequently, I can sort of create blockages. So it's actually helped us make other people aware as well as ourselves. So it has actually been quite enlightening. I'm very proud of the project, of the programme that we'll be rolling out regionally. It's a thank you to people in Peterborough, those people that took part, it's the restaurant owners and, and takeaways, it's the community groups. They all really see this as a shared responsibility and I just want to thank them for that.